Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to The Sim Project. Well, oh, first thing you're saying to me is, where's all the videos on the last couple of weeks you promised us in the vid schedule? I know, I'm sorry, but life, again, it's hard to fit hobbies around life this day and age of the earth. Anyway, welcome back to the sim project. Today we are playing Euro Truck Simulator. Um, yes, so I'll just get started. Now, there is a hack that I did to get me um, billions of money switch off the sound because it's quite annoying the soundtrack on this. Now first thing I'm going to say about this game is it's not as good as number two and that's what you like in a sequel. You don't you don't want it to be exactly the same like OMC 2 is. Okay so now we're in um lovely Euro Truck Sim just so I can hear the engine roaring. And we are currently at um, Paris with all the money there is in the world so I can buy myself a nice truck if I wanted to. If you're wondering what I'm using to steer, I'm actually using my mouse. Um, yeah pain in this game, you need to look round. <laughs> yeah, when it's laggy, you can't drive at all. Oh, shut up. Another thing about um, the sequel to this is it has much better graphics, much better uh, physics like the indicators. I need to push buttons twice but on the number two all you need to do is push buttons um, once and when your steering wheel comes round, it just goes, ah, I need to rest now because I'm not going around a corner anymore. Yeah, but anyway, that's that. How many red lights can there be in one city? Hey, non-realism. Um, also in Euro Truck 2, th these are like copies of makes like Renault and BMW and Mercedes, but <gasps> Shit, what went wrong there? I was turning, now oh, I'm fine, oh no, I can't remember the gears. Right, what's going on? Oh, gotta be joking me. get into reverse now see that's something I hate about this game the way 
there's like just a little bit of steering which is not working. Uh, anyway, I can talk a bit about this Trox model now. This is uh, the game's version of a Scania. Don't, uh, they don't look like it to me. Let me out. Why are trucks not four wheel drive? Uh, you can see my health. Oh no, it hasn't really gone up. Oh, stop beeping. Ugh. Okay, let's get back inside. I don't know what went wrong there, but there seems to be like a spot where it just doesn't steer. So. See what's in this yard. Uh, absolutely nothing. I think it might be the holidays. <laughs> yeah, well, if you don't know what your truck simulator is, it's this big. It's basically you get placed in a truck at somewhere and pick up loads and take it halfway across the flipping universe and um, yeah that's what I've been doing the last couple of years or so I've had this game it came out quite a few years ago as well but as soon as your truck simulated 2 out which is going to be the next video um, I just stopped playing this and you guys are like how did you get Euro Truck on a Mac? It's on App Store for about twenty odd um, dollars or pounds or whatever yen or whatever. Um, but Euro Truck Simulator Two, um, I'll put out a link in the description to how to get that. Um, because what I did is, um, if any of you guys know Paul the Tool, he gives Mac ports to games which only run on Windows. So you can like run games which are supposed to run on Windows. But yeah, he's a really smart guy. But seriously, that music. But yeah, this is your map. Uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 is really open to the modern world, uh, the modding world. Because there's like mods to go down to Africa, mods to extend Rome, mods to Greece, and a little bit of Turkey, and you can go up to Russia, Russia. Up to Russia. Um, yeah, but that's basically the game. So if you liked driving and trying to perfect your driving just like a bus simulator yeah yeah bus driver sorry i'm really tired it's 702 in the morning over here so um yeah so this is the game it when i think about it it's actually pretty boring but i find it pretty fun but i found I find number two a lot better than this. And then again, it's a sequel and it's meant to be better. Like, if I'm talking about OMSI. The sequel, OMSI number two, is like only working with Steam. So if you're like part of a Steam community and you really like that kind of stuff. Okay, Cameron, stop yawning then yeah, this is the game for you, but for now, goodbye!